Hey, what's up? My name is Eddie Wall, and I am here with Mason Davey from Weston Snowboards. We're here in uh, Southern California, Transworld Snowboarding Studios. Well, actually, we're outside of the studios uh, here in Carlsbad, California. So, first off, um, what do we have behind us here? We have our mobile snowboard shop slash adventure mobile. Um, it's been uh, parked at the beach for the last week for a little surf trip, and uh, really it's our, our snowboard shop that will sit most of its life in Colorado, but uh, to be able to pull it out, do events, uh, come here, surf with you guys is just a dream come true for us. And also, real quick, before we get started again, um, we are live, so please feel free to comment any questions that you might have for Mason about the Adventure Mobile or about the snowboards. So um, I guess the first question I have is, I mean, this thing is is pretty massive. When you when you said you were coming, I was like thinking this small little Adventure Mobile, but I mean, what is it like uh, towing this? To be honest, it's uh, it's nine thousand six hundred pounds, um, all completed, and. Uh, it, with a burly 3500 pickup truck, it tows like nothing. Yeah. Um, it. Uh, we actually thought it'd be considerably heavier, um, and so really it's pulled beautifully. And uh, you know, it, I accidentally got going 90 miles an hour out here, and it handled perfectly. So. That's the first thing I thought. <laughs> I was thinking you couldn't do like over 40 with this. Oh no, she goes 75 the whole way out. Like I said, accidentally got going 90, and no shingles are ripping off, so we're stoked. Um, and I mean, how difficult was it to build, build it? You know, it's, it's, it's a house. It's essentially a house that was built on this custom uh, purpose built trailer. Um, and, uh, it took about four and a half months of, uh, being in my driveway and, you know, nights, evenings, as soon as I got the, the solar and the power hooked up, then I could work on it through the night. And, uh, it's just been a fun project, a real labor of love. Wow. Yeah, it is unbelievable. I mean, when you pulled up, everybody was coming out of the office tripping out because, you know, uh, you know, Mike Bassich has something similar Absolutely. and a few other people have. But this one, I feel like the attention to detail and everything. I mean, the little house lights on the side of the door, <laughs> uh, you know, the logo out front, which I heard lights up at night. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, the windows, I guess. The next thing is let's let's go inside. Absolutely. Come um, on in. If you're just watching, this is the Weston Adventure Mobile slash snowboard shop slash showroom. We're here with Mason Davey. Um, I guess, <coughs> well, real quick, before we start to do a little tour, um, you know, how long ago was Weston started? How long have you been involved with the company? So we've been around for about four and a half years. Uh, about three years ago, I stepped in and uh, took over the sales and manager of the brick and mortar shop. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and in doing so, realized pretty quickly that we had a shop in a small mountain town that was struggling a little bit to, to really, you know, get that tourist traction. And um, so about seven months ago, the founder actually moved out to California, just uh, up, the, up the road. And, uh, and saw that you know we really needed to put all of our energy into the building of this brand and just saw that we were the ones uh, you know really on the ground. So he sold to us and our first uh, kind of um, you know way to go about this was to build a mobile shop and showroom and to be out on the road living what we love, you know, snowboarding. And how has the response been so far? Uh, unbelievable. This is its first real road trip and uh, I, I mean, I couldn't even relax in my hammock because everybody would come in and, and uh, you know, want a tour and just kind of, it really, con it, people connected with it. They just said, wow, I, I get it. You know, I understand yeah. what your vision is here, which is fun. Uh, a couple quick questions already coming in. Yeah. Sean Theodore, uh, avid viewer here. Uh, who designs your snowboards? Um, well, the board that won uh, Transworld's um, splitboard or tested and approved splitboard yep. uh, was designed by a local rider, Joe Tremba. Um, wow. So he uh, he worked with our production team and myself and uh, and designed the full profile of that board. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and we're gonna do a whole rundown of the boards because I'm really curious about these boards because they have really cool shapes and I've heard a lot about them. But first, before we do that, let's get a quick tour of the inside of this place. Absolutely. Um, well, over, you know, you just take us along. I mean, obviously, this is the snowboard shop. Part. Absolutely. So, in coming into the shop, I really wanted to make it um, feel spacious and not feel like you're ducking and getting into a tiny shop. So, um, we pushed this loft back to about four foot. This is an eight foot loft that'll serve as my snowboard storage. Um, and uh, and then I wanted the main focal area to be our snowboards, of course, and uh, and what we're doing here. So, um, great snowboard uh, display. And then as you come over here. Um, we're able to sell complete boards and put them together. So we have our binding, binding rack and display of split board bindings, solid bindings. Um, 
And then uh, we have our toilet, our composting bathroom here, um, all made out of pallet wood, so uh, it kind of has that uh, outhouse feel. So I did a nice little outhouse uh, cutout. Are you comfortable? <laughs> Tiny dumps only. Wait, yeah, only small dumps. Hey, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I like it because it feels like an old school outhouse because yeah. it's all wooden in there. Absolutely. No way, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then this is storage. And then this is, uh, yeah, just storage. Um, so uh, all my solar panels are in here. Um, hats, gloves, tees. I'm um, really able to really store all of my merchandise. Again, I knew it was important not to clutter this space up and to kind of keep things. So I made some pallet wood picture frames for my t-shirts here. Um, I have gloves and hats that I just store in here and then yeah. pull out as needed. Um, and then what's up with these solar panels? Because obviously I see lights, there's a fan in here. So um, we actually uh, reached out to Goal Zero on this build and got fully sponsored with the build. Um, and they got us a Yeti 1250 with uh, four Boulder 90 solar panels. So it really allows us to be completely off grid with a composting toilet uh, and with this solar unit, we can pull this thing anywhere and run our operation, run our shop. And you know, you, usually when you see solar panels, they're on a roof getting sun, why are they in the closet? Well, we knew that um, first off, it'd be hard to park it and optimize our sun wherever we go. But secondly, we're going to be in the winter um, and snow's going to dump in Colorado like it does every year. So if we were kind of locked in place up, up on the roof, we'd have to be up there every day shoveling them off. Or yeah. um, So really, we're, we've got a rack system we're building that we can pull these out and, and put them in place and optimize them for the sun. And yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, we were just talking about being in the snow. Yeah, so moving over here. So this is my main heater. Um, it's a uh, it's a little wood burning slash pellet stove out of uh, Europe. It's called the Hobbit, and um, it really is the coolest little thing we could find. And and, and it came black cast iron, uh, brand new, and it just didn't fit in <laughs> with the vibe of uh, of the shop. So we sandblasted it, rusted it, and and really kind of antiqued it as we as we'd like to say. Um, and then we, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we really kind of uh, used all of our scrap woods um, as what's going to heat this thing. Um, all the cutoffs from the build. Um, I had some old snowboard molds um, that we ended up uh, using for the firebox. So this is an old snowboard mold that was in my garage and it rusted the shape of a snowboard from some base material and it just perfectly fit to make the firebox. And, um, and then as well, the trim here is all uh, old snowboard molds that I cut down and what? created that trim no work. Way. Yeah. So yeah. the trim work is old snowboard yep, molds? Yep, hand bent steel old snowboard molds. Yeah. Wow. And then there's some accent lighting behind there of some 12 volt LEDs that'll, that'll light it up um another question good good question from uh sean tedor is where um, we produced in Cal or colorado for our first three years um and we uh really tried to stay, stay in Colorado, but it was a real struggle. And uh, we found a great uh, partner overseas, an American partner over in Shenzhen. Yep. And, uh, and really with him, we've been able to elevate our product and our brand. Um, I still have a prototyping shop in Edwards in, in our neighborhood. Um, and we are able to play with shapes and prototype, uh, but really to get our production made at a top of the top of the line factory is, is really the route we needed to take. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's see here, we have a couple more questions. Uh, tried the Japal last season at Loveland. Such an awesome board. Um, you guys going to make it there again this winter? Dylan Barber. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, with this mobile shop and showroom, we're able to make demos all over the state of Colorado. We're able to really focus on events. So um, absolutely, we will be there more than once this season. Cool. Uh, Harry Thompson, how is it to live in? Because obviously, you know, you were just saying... You stay in this sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, what's it like when you're sleeping in here? Um, so I've got some hammock hooks uh, just coming from my beams so I can hang my hammock and swing swing the night away. And, and truly, it's it's surreal to have my snowboard shop at a beach, to be able to stay in it when we go on events. It's it's as cool as it gets. And <laughs> this, even though this looks small, does this produce a pretty heavy amount it of heat? It does. So um, in the build, we heavily insulated it, obviously knowing that it'd be out for winter. So yeah. it's recycled blue jeans as the siding. Um, no way. Yeah, so all of my side insulation is recycled blue jeans. And then uh, um, we have a uh, lot of recycled materials. The roof is recycled paper, cardboard, and asphalt. Wow. Um, lifetime warranty on it. So some really cool materials, but it means that this thing is just as tight as it gets. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Second I fire up, I literally can put three sticks of wood in there and she's, she's warm. Whoa, and you know what's funny, I just noticed, because it's pretty hot outside and then when we came in here, it's way cooler, so is it the insulation does the reverse in the summer? Absolutely. Um, so the first event I pulled it down to was in Denver and it was an 87 degree day and it was cool as it got in here. And so with these windows, the way they're positioned to kind of get a cross breeze, we have a little 12 volt fan. Uh, it just keeps it nice and cool in the summer too. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then let's check out this little area before we get to the boards. This, this is kind of your uh, little, uh, you know, shop. Absolutely. So um, we'll set up. A, we have just an iPad and uh, and you know system that's fully mobile. Um, got my coffee back there for the morning coffee uh, and some donuts. Um, but really, uh, we decided just to make a sh small cabinet. We really tied it in with some of the old barn wood. Um, a lot of this stuff I got reused materials. Um, and uh, and then we have our power system back here as well. So since we are solar, we have a nice inverter and uh, and solar charger back here. And um, and then this is one of my favorite features as well. So um, this is one of the first snowboards we made, and it was called the Beetle Kill. Um, and it was made out of Beetle Kill pine, which in Colorado we have plenty of. Um, I I wanted to use this board and and talk about it. Um, so I ended up. Um, making it into my workbench. Um, so I can tune all my boards, put them together right here. Uh, we got a little see-through window in the um, in the P-Tex that shows the blue stain of the beetle kill, the same that's on the wall. Um, so again, we started off with this mission of using a, a, a wood that was, you know, kind of needed we needed to find uses for it to really yeah. uh, help our forests out in Colorado. And so we started off with the boards and we continue to use it this day in the build of the shop. This is crazy. Uh, if you're just tuning in, your Facebook Live Transworld Snowboarding. My name is Eddie Wall. We're here with uh, Mason Davey, and he is showing us the Weston showroom slash mini adventure mobile snowboard shop. Uh, let's get into some of these boards. Um, I'm, well, let's see if we have some question here. Well, here's a good question. Akis Bolaha, Bola, and this is a question that's been coming up a lot: is which board is your personal favorite? Oh boy, it's like asking me which one of my kids is my favorite, but um, I do have a favorite, uh, and um, you know, the Big Chief was really kind of our big mountain board, um, it actually placed in Transworld's um, um, tested and approved last season, yep. and uh, it's just set up kind of for the riding style I like, it's our big mountain board, um, it's just a charger, so I ride this in solid and split. And just being able to have the same board in a split and a solid has evolved me as a as a rider, I think. Okay. Yeah. So there's this. That's his favorite board right there. <laughs> Nicholas Salachin, what uh, inspired you to create this trailer and? Do you see it helping with expanding the business? Uh, without a doubt, it's already helping. Um, cool. Here, hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Um, but um, really, the inspiration was spending six days a week in a brick and mortar shop in a small town in Colorado. It didn't allow me to really live the the product that we're selling and and what we wanted to be doing. And so, this now allows us to get out, be more active, to do more events. Um, yeah. And uh, it's already, yep. I'm already out, out enjoying life and at the beach in California. Amazing. <laughs> uh, and then, so let's uh, check out this board because, so Transworld does a tested and approved, um, you know, segment with their magazine and every, you know, they have a bunch of testers that over the whole winter, they're sending them gear uh, over, I think over 500 products. At the very end, they narrow it down. And, um, and this split board was one of the split boards that was tested in, was it tested in Crested Butte? Yes, it was. Yeah, and, and this was one of the top uh, favorite split boards of all of our testers. So can you give us a little rundown of this board? Absolutely. So it was designed again by a, a local legend and writer of ours, Joe Otremba in the Vale Valley. Um, it really um, was an, inspired by the Gore Range, so it's called the Range. Um, this is an actual snippet of the Gore Range right here, um, which is in our backyard. And how we access the Gore Range um, is a trail called Red and White, so it made perfect sense for us to, to do the board in that colorway. Um, but uh, the profile is just a uh, camber, uh, just past the inserts, a little flat to rocker tip and tail. Um, so it's really a kind of that free ride, freestyle um, board that's just been crushing it. Allows you to float, you know, threes off of cliffs and, and really fun, playful, poppy board. Amazing. And another board that was also in this year's Tested and Approved as a favorite uh, backcountry PAL boards was this one right here. Now this, this top sheet 
is la last season's graphic. Absolutely. So this is a wood top sheet that we did the previous season. Um, we did a few tweaks uh, for uh, for this season, including a polymide top sheet um, and a graphic refresh, and then a um, couple tweaks in the uh, in the core. But this is the split version of that very board um, that won the and this board is, test. This will be the new top sheet. Or this is the new top sheet. Yep. Yep. So a polymide top sheet really gives it some rigidity. Also sloughs snow uh, really nicely and. Uh, yeah, one of my favorites, just surfy feel. Amazing. Uh, let's see. Nicholas Solichin, um, are the prices the same as distributors or will you have promotions? Uh, prices are the same as distributors. Yep. Um, we um, we try to you know work with people if we can to get them get them into a full package if if uh, possible. But um, really, we um, do have some great distributors that we obviously don't want to undercut. And uh, yeah, so yeah, they will remain the same. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hmm. uh, Davy Wallace, what was the cost of the whole building? Well, I don't know if that's. <laughs> well, it's. Uh, I, yeah. I'll tell you this. It Co cost us about a year's worth of rent in the current shop I was in, which made total sense to us to yeah. really have an asset here uh, and not pay rent. Uh, just made perfect sense. Yes, yeah. and then it's funny too because I was thinking earlier. Uh, they always say the three rules of business is location, location, location. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, yeah, well, we can be anywhere. So. Exactly. Um, exactly. Um, where do you plan to take it this winter? Um, so we do have, we're working on a space in the Vail Valley to really, you know, continue to, to serve the Vail Valley and our, and our customer base. Um, but then we are going to be doing events in Breckenridge, Keystone, Steamboat, um, A-Bay, uh, really bringing it all around Colorado as well as Denver. Um, and then um, we have events planned. So we have uh, permits in right now to be able to go up onto Vail Pass, Loveland Pass, and do d events right out of this uh, showroom and let Whoa. people take our split boards up on the pass. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, how often do you say, are, are you a pretty passionate split boarder? Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. So you've been, how long have you been doing it? Uh, only about five years, but yep. um, it was just a game changer for me. You know, I've spent enough time in lift lines to, to just really want to be out. And, and really nature, to connect with nature on a level, to me is, I think, one of the reasons we're on this planet, you know? And, yep. and it really allows us to do that with our split boards and getting out with friends and family and, and uh, connecting with nature is what we're all about. Amazing. Um, what are some of the other boards you have in your line? Um, so our timber is kind of our all mountain uh, board and our biggest seller. Mm -hmm. um, it's a rocker in the center, camber underfoot, rocker tip and tail. So that uh, hybrids, you know, camber profile. And so most most of the uh, boards I sell are that all mountain. Um, yeah. Logger is a great board for us as well. It's uh, more of our park board um, and blunted tip and tail. And we've got some really good logging, log riding team. Um, so it was a no brainer for us to come out with a board for logging. Um, big Chief, I do in a solid and a split and already spoke to uh, a little bit. But again, our big mountain board. Um, Backwoods is really that powder board that's been crushing it for us with that tuck tail and big spoon nose. Yep. And then we also have our POW server over here, yeah. which is... Uh, so our other company vehicle besides our tiny house is a 1979 Tucker Snowcat. And that thing comes out with us every time we take the cat out. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, out. Scott Yorko just said, do you have a snowcat? <laughs> we do, we do. That's crazy. Um, yeah, we what you that. need to do is have it, the snowcat hooked up on the back of this. So then you're towing, <laughs> the truck tows this, and that tows the snowcat. I think we'll just tow this this into the backcountry with the snowcat sometime. Oh. Yeah. Oh, are you, are you going to do that? We're going to try. What? We'll see. We'll so you, see. do you think you can put this thing on some massive type skis or something? Well, I think the big chief would make a perfect, yeah. perfect board for it. Just throw so. those right under the wheels and exactly. start cruising. Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Brian Kimbrell, are your boards and bindings injection molded? Our, our boards are not injection molded, and our bindings, um, we sell other people's bindings. So right. uh, we carry Spark R&D, Caracorum, um, Valet for split bindings, and then we typically work, uh, have Union in our shop for okay. solids. Uh, hmm. Tyler Labret, what is a lift line? Exactly. I love that comment, Tyler, because oh. uh, we we just yeah don't spend time in them anymore. Uh, we have a snowcat and a tiny house and split boards. So. <laughs> That's funny, because I was like, Everybody knows what a lift line is, but <laughs> now I get it. Now I get it. Um, uh, Reed Erickson, do you take on volunteers? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, there is an ambassador program on our website. We we really do want to grow our family with this um, mobile, you know, 
sales floor or slash you know adventure mobile we are able to get out and we want to extend our family get other people that uh, love to do what we love to do and bring them in and so when we are at places we'd love to help with demos we'd love help um, you know uh, we've got a little split board ramp that attaches to this so we can kind of give clinics on how to oh, split cool. board so we've got some really cool activations planned with this okay amazing um, so, what do you see in the you know near and far future for Weston? It's a relatively you know new young brand, uh, but it's gaining some traction. Yeah. Like, what do you? Um, well, I mean, uh, we feel that this is our model. I mean, this is what what we love to do is live what we're selling. So we do have in the works uh, another tiny home build for next season. Oh. Um, we're actually going to. This was supposed to be more of a a stationary shop, um, but decided that it's so awesome mobile that uh, we're going to be bringing around. But um, our second build, <laughs> we're going to build a toy hauler, uh, essentially, with a sled deck so we can pull our snowmobiles up on the back and then hit the road. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, that's great. So I guess, uh, I mean, that kind of, I think, wraps up. Is there any last things you want to touch on? Uh, tune in. We're going to be in a lot of cool places doing a lot of cool stuff. We've got plans for movie premieres, uh, you know. Um, yeah, so you, are you going to be cruising around SoCal for a bit? Are you going to? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What's yeah. kind of your rough schedule or plan? Um, actually, we're going to stick around for uh, tomorrow's Insight uh, premiere. And... And then we're going to hit the road and get back to Colorado. It's already snowing, so <laughs> I gotta get back, fire this wood stove up, and uh, and get the stove going out there. Um, so just a couple more days in Cali. I've been out here a week surfing, and and really got a nice sunburn going on under here. So uh, get back up to the mountains after a while. Oh my God! Oh, Scott York, uh, final question: Will you get another snow cut? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if if the family keeps growing, absolutely. Um, really, you know, where I want to park this as my shop in the Vale Valley, I'm gonna have it hooked up to my snowcat. So it's gonna make quite the impression. Yeah. Um, and uh, and really, that again, that's our love, that's our passion, is being out in the backcountry. So hey, if our family keeps growing, we'll get we'll get another cat for you, Yorko. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mason Davy, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And a please check out Weston Snowboards. What's the website? Uh, uh, it's www.westonsnowboards.com. Weston Snowboards, thank you so much for coming. We awesome. really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Eddie. All right. Pleasure.